Okay, here's our next installment of our project and today we're going to put some patterns onto our quilt map. So here I am at the main menu. I'm going to choose Design Sew Quilt and now I'm choosing Edit Sew Existing and I am looking for my project. Projects in my project uh, catalogue here. Click that. Here is my project map, quilt map, so I'm going to select that and continue. So here's my quilt map. Now IQ wants me to touch a reference point and get it all aligned. We're only in demo mode, so you can touch any any point you want. Continue. OK. OK, so there's our quilt map. And we are going to add edit pattern. Add pattern. Select the type of pattern you want to add. It's going to be a block pattern. Use an existing block or define a new one. I'm going to put my pattern up here in the top left block, so I'm going to touch that center reference point. Oh no, I'm going to touch the side. Oh, well, look what I did. I've got to choose something here first, and it says select. The select block is what we want. So you have to remember to read. <laughs> uh, this is the one I'm going to select. It turned red. <laughs> Continue. And now it's taken me straight away to my catalogues so I can choose the pattern. And as it happens, it's taken me to my project catalogue um, simply because I was looking at it before. So project is the catalogue you want. And I am going to choose this feather pattern. So select, continue. Now IQ has put it straight up and down. Let's zoom. I'm going to zoom in on that block so you can see it a bit better. Turn the zoom off. I want it on the diagonal. Now to help me get it on the diagonal, I'm actually going to add another pattern. I'm going to add a line to go from corner to corner. So I'm going to hit finished at this point. Finished. Add pattern. Block pattern. It says use an existing block or define a new one. See, I remember to read this time. Uh, the existing block is red already, so I'm going to use current block. And I'm going to find my geometric catalogue. And I want the line, so I'm going to touch L in the alphabet, because that will quickly find line. Continue. And I am going to move line, so this, I'm grabbing that end point, and I'm going to snap it to that corner. I'm going to use stretch. It says touch the anchor point of the pattern, the part I don't want to move, and it's that. Now touch another snap point of the pattern. I'm grabbing the other end, and I'm going to bring it to the opposite corner on the diagonal. Okay, so that will help me with placing my heart pattern correctly. So I'm not going to touch finished here. I'm just going to hit select, which will allow me to choose the feather pattern. Continue. And now I can um, modify that. So the first thing I'm going to do is rotate it. And I want to rotate it 45 degrees. So I'm making sure this button says 45 degrees. If yours says 1, then just click on that button until it says 45. And then you can touch the arrow. All right. And I'm going to move this pattern. I want it close to this side down here, down at the bottom edge, close to the middle. Now let's zoom in a little bit more. Now note, this pattern isn't symmetrical. See this bottom feather here? It, it goes off to one side. So you have to bear that in mind when you're placing this pattern. I want most of the pattern to be the, the diagonal the, you know, the centre of this pattern that's on the diagonal to be on this diagonal line. So I am going to use my arrows to move it up until it's there. So now you can see how that line is going straight through the middle. I'm not paying attention to this because that's not centred. The other thing I'm going to do is pay attention to where it is within the block. So I'm looking at the spaces around. Right? Obviously this is going to be closer to the seam line than here. I'm paying attention to here and here. And to help me get it uh, just where I want it, I'm going to turn the grid on. 
Now I already have quarter inch grid selected. We have half inch or, or uh, that's half inch, quarter inch, one inch. I'm going to put it to quarter inch so that I can see, okay, that pattern is, is half an inch from there and it's half an inch from there and it's half an inch from there. So, and this is half an inch from there. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, I like that. I like where that is. If I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, I could touch scale and then just touch the plus arrow until I like what I see. Now it's a bit closer to the seam line. This is very close, but these are a quarter inch. Yeah. So it's up to you. I think I'm going to keep it like that. Um, I like it a quarter inch away. Um, I like that placement, so that's what I'm going to keep it as. So I'm going to hit finished because I like what I did. Okay, so now we have this space here. And I'm going to add another pattern in there just to fill up that empty space. So I'm going to go add pattern, block pattern, use an existing block or define a new one. It's the same block, so I'll just use current block. And I'm going to go to my project uh, pattern catalog and I'm going to get double heart. Continue. Now, of course, IQ has made it huge. I'm going to, I've noticed the scale is 308%, so I'm just going to scale it down to 100%. Let's see how that is. Oh, and it disappeared because I did 10%. Pay attention, Helen. 100%. Enter. There it is. Okay, I'm also going to rotate it 45 degrees. And another 45 degrees. And another 45 degrees. So it's on that orientation. And I'm going to move it. Here. Okay, it's still too big. Let's zoom in on that. That's a bit better. Okay, so I'm going to scale it down some more. Let's scale it down to 50%. This is pure guesswork. I just keep guessing until I get the size I want. I'm going to move it. Okay, let's scale it up a bit. So I now I'm going to hit the plus sign until I get a size that I like. Okay, I need to move it because I want this part and this part, the point, to be on that diagonal. So I'm going to move it this way. Okay, now I'm looking here. That's a quarter inch. That's about a quarter inch. Let's move it again. Okay, let's move it over that way. Good. I like that. But you know what? I think I'm going to turn it around the other way. So I'm going to flip Y. I'm going to flip X. And let's put it that way instead. I kind of like that, that bit better. So let me scale it up a little bit. That fills the space better. And I'm going to move it up here. Oh, that fills the space a lot better. I'm going to scale it up some more. Ah, oh, that's much better. Okay, I like that. I like that. Let's zoom out just so we can see the whole block. Much better. Okay, so I'm going to hit finished. So there's my two patterns. Now I can get rid of that diagonal line. I'm not going to sew that diagonal line. So right now I'm going to delete it. Select the pattern you want to delete the line, making sure nothing else is red, continue, yes, good. So now let's go zoom full, I want to put these two patterns in here and here and here. So I'm going to go copy pattern, I'm going to select this one and this one, continue, let's turn the grid off, I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. I'm going to move it over here. Let's zoom in on this. Okay, let me turn my grid back on just so I can um, make sure it's placed as I want it to be. Quarter inch, maybe move it over a little bit. What I'm looking at is the space, that's the block 
um, and this is the pattern and that's my quarter inch grid so I know I wanted a quarter inch quarter inch and I think I can come down a little bit sometimes it's hard to see um, you know with the grid it's hard to see the actual block line so turn it off and turn it on again if you're unsure what you're looking at okay let's move that up a bit I'm just kind of fine tuning it until I like what I see turn the grid off that's good okay let's go zoom full I'm finished now because I have these two um, positioned uh, and just let me point out why I rotated the copy rather than flipped it. It's because of this tail here that goes in one direction. I want the tail to point that way, point that way. So that's why I rotated rather than flipped. Um, let's go copy patterns. I'm going to select all. Continue. Again, rather than flip, I'm going to rotate. And I'm going to move it. Now, because these patterns, I selected all these patterns as a nice reference point right there in the middle of them, and that's what I'm grabbing, and I'm going to snap it to the centre of that block, and which means these will be in the right position. So that's a really quick and easy way to move multiple patterns. Again, I rotated because this little tail feather kicks off to the side, and I wanted to kick this way, this way, this way, so they kind of go, they kick around in the same direction. Okay, so that's uh, those four blocks filled, so I'm going to hit finished. Add pattern, block pattern. I'm going to select a new block and I'm going to choose this block. Continue and I'm going to get CQ Feather Square 7, this one. Continue. This will be very quick to, to position because we are just putting it in exactly as it comes in. Uh, let's make this. Let's turn the zoom off. Let's make the scale a hundred percent. Let's make sure it's matching, grabbing the center point, and I'm matching it to the center point of the block. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Now look at this. Let's zoom in. I've matched the center point, but it's off here at the side, off here. So let me move, move. I'm just going to grab a corner. Let's see, this corner has a nice reference point, and I'm going to snap it to the corner of the block rather than using the centre. Uh, for some reason, it's not quite centred, so I just chose the uh, corner instead. So let's zoom out. No, let's do zoom full. Okay, finished. Copy pattern, this one. Continue. I'm going to grab the corner of that copy and snap it to that corner there. If you need to zoom in, go ahead, zoom in, have a look. Make sure it's where you want it to be. Yep, okay. Finished. Okay, copy pattern. I'm going to choose this one and this one. And I'm going to move them both together. I will grab this. And I will put it there. Let that zoom in. Make sure. Yep. And that one's right. Good. Let's go zoom full. Good, finished. So now we've got one block left to fill. Add pattern, block pattern, select block. This one, continue. Here we are project. We're going to choose this one, the motif we made last week. Continue. Okay, let's zoom in. That looks pretty good, but I think I will scale it up just a tad more so it comes right out more. Closer to the seam, what will be the seam line. That's good. Finished. Uh, one more thing. I'm going to put something in the middle here because that space is too big to leave empty in my opinion. So add pattern, block pattern. That block is red, so we'll use current block. Project. I'm going across here to find spiral. Continue. And now we just need to scale that way down this way that like that that looks good let's zoom in a bit more uh, maybe 
to scale up a little. No, I like that. Okay. Uh, by the way, during this lesson, I have had my zoom lock turned on, and I can tell it's turned on because I've got that little lock sign right there. Um, if you don't have the zoom lock turned on, you'll find your image uh, zooming out to full a lot more than I did during this class. So if yours was zooming out all the time, turn your zoom lock on uh, and then it'll stay zoomed in um, most of the time. Sometimes it'll zoom out itself, but anyway. So we'll go finished. See that it's still zoomed in. I want to see the full. If you had zoom lock off, it would have automatically gone out to the full image at that point. Uh, turn the zoom off. Okay, so that's uh, all our patterns placed in our blocks, and I think that's enough for today. So at this point, I will go finished. Save quilt pattern. I'm going to save the quilt. I'm going to, it's called project one. I'm going to call it, um, let's see, I want to make it, let's say project space with space blocks enter and I'm going to save it in my project catalog select so next uh, for the next class when we add the border and the sashings I can just um, recall this saved quilt Okay, so that's putting the blocks in. Have fun. See you next week.